throughout this show, we're going to talk about remarkable bonds created by family ties. Our next guest proves those are not limited to blood relationships. In fact, the whole internet went to extremes to make this family bond reconnect. Hannah Smith's journey to find a foster mother who changed her life has gone viral and made headlines. She calls her Mama Essie, and Hannah hasn't seen her in 40 years. But with one post online this December, Hannah's search for Mama Essie is almost over. But take a look at the story. I entered the foster system when I was around 12 years old. After a few months in the children's shelter, I was placed in the home of Essie Gilchrist, who we all refer to as Mama Essie. She saw the hurt little child, but now I'm married, I am a trauma therapist, and I really am living a stable life. Last month, I decided that I wanted to send out a post to honor Mama Essie and just let the world know about this amazing woman. I never expected it to go viral, let alone over 2 million views. And someone even was able to find her. And the next evening, I was able to call and talk to her, and it was the first time we spoke in 40 years. It was so surreal. She just went right into all kinds of stories, telling me about myself. I really want her to see the woman that I've become today. We all need a Mama Essie in our lives. Here in the studio, Hannah is here. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. You have not come face to face with Mama Essie yet. No. Okay. Um, no. You've spoken how many times? Just once. Just one time. One time. And you said she just opened up. What was that like for well, you? Well, I said hello, and she went into like, here's all the things that have been happening, and yeah, she told me all about what happened after I left, yeah. and you described your time with her back then. You were, you said you were a wild kid. Um, I think you even ran up her phone bill. Oh, yeah. I ran up her phone bill calling the boyfriend, and when she put a lock on the dial-up, I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> she broke it. Um, in the post that you put out with Mama Essie, in addition to talking about the phone bill, you said, the foundation of everything I know about grace, about dignity, about fashion, makeup, hair, I still use a pick. <laughs> so that part. Elegance, excellence, self-care, patience, love, goodness, generosity, and fierceness in the face of pain came from Mama Essie. Mm. 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 You know, we, we know that <clears throat> how challenging the foster system is for so many kids, mm -hmm. but we know of bright lights like a Mama Essie, mm -hmm. who maybe you didn't appreciate it back then, running mm -hmm. up the phone bill, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you grow up and you understand what she meant to you. Yes, yes. After I left, I had two and a half decades of continued self-destruction. I was in a cult, I ran off to India, all kinds of things. But all along the way, I just, there was always this inner sense that there was something better and I had a picture of what stability looked like. She's here as you know. Yeah. Please, let's bring out Mama Essie. <laughs> She looks the same. She looks the same. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible, but. <laughs> have a seat, have a seat. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't want to interrupt because I know you've talked only once. I know, look at you. <laughs> that's little Marie. <laughs> yeah. What do you remember about her back then? Well, first of all, how do you feel? Well, you know, I will tell you in one instance, I feel this great joy. And then in the next minute, I feel, you know, you know how you try to hold it together, you know, you're trying, you're trying, but I am just overwhelmed. <laughs> the words that she said, that you were the foundation of everything. She said, <laughs> grace, dignity, fashion. She still uses a pick, and I don't know how it stays in her hair. <laughs> 
but everything, you know, it took all those years for her to understand what you meant. Yes. But she remembered it. How many of my friends have said, did you notice she said she still uses the pick? You have fostered 20 other children? Right. 20? Yes. You call them your god daughters. daughters and with the emphasis on the G-O-D. Right. Part of that. Just like when you have a baby and you have been given the, you take the position of godmother. So that's the way I felt that somehow I was given that, I just say, you know, where that child was yeah. for me. Yeah. And so at that time I was, what, 29, 30-ish years you're old? You're a baby at your, that yourself. Right. And you're bringing in these a, babies. A nine and a 12-year-old. Nine and 12-year-old. I know you have something you want to tell Mama Essie. Well, I just want to thank you so much because <laughs> there's no way in the world you would have known that I could I would come out like this because I know that what you did every day, the places you took us, the things that you did, it really, it really set a good foundation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mama Essie, I know you worked for the Army and the Navy for 39 years. You are, were a teacher. Yes. And you have returned back to teaching. Yes. In 2012. In 2012, you went back yes. to teaching. <laughs> Mama, as you, you've had a life. I mean, you, you have had a wonderful life. And I just still am stuck on the <laughs> God daughters because you say God brought them to you, 20 in all. And I know at least one other one who would like to say thank you. <laughs> Let's bring out Nikita! <laughs> My gosh, hey girl. Oh, you, oh, thank you. Mama Essie didn't know Nikita was here. Oh my goodness. When was the last time you saw oh, each other? Oh wow, it's been what, about 30 years now? Wow. Yes. And we've kept in contact over the phone over the years. She's managed to send me some great photos. Um, I suffered a house fire years ago, so I lost a lot of my memories. Oh, my so she was able to send me some crucial photos of myself where From I the really... time you were with her. Yes. We just heard Hannah talk about how her foundation that she set in that short period. I see it in you, you're nodding. You're saying the same Everything thing. Everything that I am today is because of this woman. <laughs> Everything, I'm still talking smack. <laughs> I've made a life out of helping people because of what sh this woman right here instilled in me. I <laughs> she, taught me, she taught me the importance of putting God first yeah. in everything. Yeah. And if y'all ain't careful, I might shout this stage <laughs> down right now. I give God the glory for this moment Thank you so much, Lord. because uh, about three years ago, I lost my birth mother. And I've done a lot of deep soul work to make sure I become a whole woman because God allowed me to birth daughters. Yeah. And... I want to say that I feel like the timing is amazing because um, I'm, I saw, met you on the 13th and then I talked to you on the 28th and last Tuesday my father died. Aww. And he was the last immediate family I have. So Aww. it's like... You got us back. I've got one more thing. One more thing for you, Mama Essie. All of those years working for the Navy, for the Army, teaching and going back to teaching and bringing in children that don't have your blood, but you gave them love unconditionally. You have been tremendous and you deserve a little something. Everybody needs a break. So, the Tamron Hall Show is sending you on a three-night wine country escape to the Stafford nestled in the Russian River Valley near the Sonoma Coast. This stylish boutique hotel was named one of the best in the world. You can enjoy evening wine. You can
can enjoy fireside floors, watch the sunset among the redwood groves. You see them standing there? That's going to be you. Location has been rated one of the best in the world for one of the greatest I've ever met. Thank you, oh, thank so, you much. so much. Oh my goodness.